Now we move on and uh, talk about the laryngeal folds. After we talk about the laryngeal folds, we will be solving and talking about the clinical scenario. So there are two important soft tissue or folds located within the larynx. So that's the vestibular fold and the vocal fold. They both play a crucial role in protection of the airway, breathing and phonation. So the better way to see those two, these two folds, that is the vocal fold and your vestibular fold, I have to remove few structures from the larynx so you can see it. So the structure which I'm going to remove and I want you to be stay with me with this diagram so you can understand what I'm doing. So first we're going to remove this thyroid cartilage so you can see it we remove the thyroid cartilage I'm again going to remove the median thyroid ligament thyroid ligament and this is it so we are we are we came with this picture we remove the thyroid uh, thyroid cartilage and median thyroid ligament now you can see in this diagram we want to see the vocal folds so with with this diagram you can see the vocal folds very clearly so we see the vocal folds this is down below you can see it exactly down there these are your vocal folds so above here we got another fold that is your vestibular fold so there is a space between vestibular fold and the vocal fold just down there so the vocal folds which are down here actually are true vocal cords and are the important of two sets because they are present on both sides which are under the control of muscles of phonation. They are abducted, abducted, relaxed, and tends to control the pitch of the sounds created. And uh, with this, we also have the vocal ligaments down there. So you can see vocal cold. Below the vocal cold, we have the vocal ligaments, which lie the free, uh, free upper edge of your cricothyroid ligament. So if you want to see vocal cords in another picture, uh, first let me talk about the vestibular fold, then I can show you another picture so we can see a cutaway through uh, this uh, vocal, vocal and vestibular fold. So the vestibular fold, which is on the superior side, uh, is which is a false vocal cords. Uh, they consist of vestibular ligament, exactly up there. This is your vestibular ligament, uh, covered by a mucous membrane, uh, are pink in color. There are fixed folds which act to provide protection to the larynx. If, if what I do, if I take a cross section between these two folds, I come across this picture you can see in, in, in this diagram. So we got the epiglottis in front, we got uh, on the sides if you see uh, through the rima glottis on the side you can see you see the vocal cords that are more medial compared to the vestibular folds that are on the sides. So if you see it, this diagram it comes like a v-shape so vestibular folds are a little bit to the lateral and the uh, what do you call the uh, the vestibular folds are on the lateral side bit lateral and the uh, vocal uh, and the vocal cords are a bit medial so exactly with this uh, with this picture you can see vestibular folds on the sides and the vocal cords on the medial side there's an important clinical relevance attached uh, attached to this lecture that is the cricothyroidotomy uh, which is an emergency procedure to provide a temporary AOV. It is typically used in situation where there is an obstruction at or above the larynx. Example, uh, some foreign body enters uh, into your uh, larynx and uh, you cannot get it out of it. So an intubation has been unsuccessful. So to perform the technique, the thyroid cartilage is uh, palpated in the neck. Uh, below which there's a depression presented which is the cricothyroid ligament a small incision is made in the midline of this ligament and an endotracheal tube is inserted to secure the airway so if somebody is asking you where you insert the endotracheal tube through if, if we have such emergency your answer would be in the midline of your cricothyroid ligament